Hey guys, this is Rene. Welcome back for another video on this channel. And today will be a really short video and just a special edition of the FTMO trading project update. I'm just recording this video because I kind of have to because yesterday trading day was just crazy when the non-farm payrolls news was re was released. And yeah, I was trading in GBPS and USD Japanese yen as always. And I'm really tired today because just coming back from a really long trip that we did today with a group here in Thailand visiting some waterfalls and stuff. But I really wanted to make this video because what was going on yesterday on the charts was crazy. Let's have a look at the trades and we will just talk about the day yesterday. I will give you some more updates on the project, how it's going in the next week probably, but just for yesterday. Yesterday was the non-farm payrolls event and I didn't really have it in my mind because in the evening yesterday we were watching some football match and then I was checking my phone and just realized there were crazy big spikes, really big candles in GBP US dollar and also in US dollar Japanese yen. So let's have a look at GBP US dollar GU first. So first of all, range was created as normal from 4 o'clock to 12 o'clock in this market. And the range was not really huge for GBP US dollar. These are 250 points, which is not a really, really huge range, which means that the position size was um, yeah, a little bit bigger than normally, maybe with uh, nearly two lots in this 100k challenge account. So even before the news event, which was released here at 1530 server time, we already had the first long trade here. <laughs> and this first long trade was not really going well in the beginning. There was a lot of sideways market. Yeah, not, not a profit, not a loss. But then with the news, there was a crazy news spike immediately the market dropped down and you can see it here in this really really big candle and there yeah unfortunately i was not in front of the pc so i cannot really tell you how it looked like i wish i had some recording on or something to really see like the development of the ticks in the market but yeah just by watching at the trade results we can see it was a really dramatic movement and the 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 slippage here on this stop out of the buy trade was just crazy so the range again was 250 260 points and just the slippage was 360 points which is super crazy and it means that this trade generated a loss of 1.2 k 1200 US dollar in this challenge account which is really yeah dramatic uh, or would have been super dramatic if there wouldn't have been also this winning trade here in GBP US dollar because the news event yesterday was actually really, really good because it was going into one direction from the beginning and then, yeah, stayed into this direction for the whole day pretty much. So it was only uh, also able to cash in a profit of over 500 points. So if we have a look at the history, yes, we do have this crazy negative trade with 1.2K, but we also have 950 USD profit in GBPUS dollar on this second trade. So GBPUS dollar was, yeah, unfortunately not a good trade because of the slippage. Otherwise the profit would have been like, um, 1.4k more, which would make the day crazily profitable. But even though GBPUS dollar was not profitable, the day is still super, super good um, because of the USD Japanese yen trade. And this USD Japanese yen trade was even more crazy than the GBPUS trade. Because we can see here, this USD Japanese yen trade was creating over 3,000 US dollar profit, which is over 3% in this 100K challenge. And it means a risk reward ratio realized of more than six to one. And this is exactly why I trade this strategy and why I still believe that trading news events has some yeah, there are some good points for trading news event. I mean, you can have some negative impacts and you surely see them from time to time. Also, the last few new news days were just awful in this account. Also, GPUS dollar was not good yesterday, but USD, Japanese yen was just a beauty to watch. Because this trade, and if we zoom in a little bit, the range was created normally. Uh, yeah, like every 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 day from zero um, or from midnight to 730 
in the morning and then there was a breakout immediately in the morning uh, and the market yeah was going a little bit sideways a little bit upwards but then with the new spike at 15.30 boom, there was this crazy spike. And this is the only reason why I trade this specific breakout strategy like this for days like this, where you can make up all the losses from the last two weeks in just one trade, essentially. And this is why it is so important that you use automated trading strategies where you trade every single day if you really want to follow a strategy. And yeah, since I did not miss this trade, this was really generating a profit that made up all the losses of the last two weeks pretty much. And yeah, this was just a crazy profit. So overall, with the news trading yesterday, this big FTMO challenge that I trade is now in profit again. And this is so, so important for the account. So yeah, the account is now back to the profitable um, uh, profitable area here with more than 600 USD in profit. But this account is not even the best one that I have here. You know, I have three challenges that I trade really equally. And this one is the one, um, uh, wait, this one is the one that's doing best by far. This is in profit 5.3% now again. Uh, actually, the same trades um, with one difference. GBP US dollar was not having that much much slippage in this account. Um, yeah, I don't really know why it performed better than the big account. Probably some FTMO uh, algorithm. But yeah, I don't know if, if it's really like this. But yeah, here you can see also over 3% or around 3% profit in just yesterday in the Friday in the F NFP trading day, which is simply crazy. And we will also have a look at the FTMO overview in a second. But first of all, let's have a look at the last account where I trade this strategy. Again, um, yeah, I think here I also had a little bit less slippage than in the big account, maybe also because it's a 10K account. But yeah, you can see um, in this account also 1% profit here the profit was way smaller and this is because on this account I trade 0.1 lot for every single trade so the small range was not really having a big positive impact on these big trades which is a little bit unfortunate but I mean that's that's why I trade different projects to have different outcomes so let's now go back to my personal PC to have a look at the FTMO overview and let's start with a 10k account a uh, 100k sorry so you can see this 100k account was actually doing far better. It was nearly 4% in profit um, like three weeks ago, but then there was this really massive drawdown with like five, six, seven, I think this is nearly an 8% drawdown. So yesterday's 3% profit or over 3% profit, no, it should be like 3%. Yeah, but this was so, so, so important for the account and this made it go back to the like profitable area overall and now we can start this challenge or see this challenge with a new um, yeah it's like a new start for this challenge pretty much and yeah you can look here at the objectives we are now I mean we didn't violate any of these objectives of course because we are trading kind of low risk and now the profit target is again or we are again on the track to reach this profit target of 10k if we have a look at the statistics profit factor is positive again and yeah the the, the largest trade do we see the largest trade somewhere I don't know but yeah, it should be the trade in the um, USD Japanese yen yesterday. Now USD Japanese yen has a really big profit again. GBP US dollar is still not really good in this account, but this might change in the future. And then let's have a look at the 10K account. This is the one that's doing really, really great with over like 5% profit again. It was a little bit better before, but you know, markets are going up and down. I hope that we can continue this trend now and finally reach this profit target of 1K. But yeah, there's still some more profit needed. But yeah, you can see this is just looking like really fine from the uh, balance equity curve here. Also the objectives, we are on track here and the profit factor is really great in this account. Also, we can see like here, trading is doing great. GBPS dollar is not that bad in this account. And then if we have a look at the last account with a 0.1% fixed lot size, we can see, yeah, this is just a really solid performance. I would say not really too... Um, too volatile and this one is really good I think this should even have one of the best profit factors yeah it's really doing great and if we have a look at the symbols we can see even GPS dollar is profitable in this account so this was just one really quick 
quick update, uh, emergency update on the FTMO challenges because of this crazy news event yesterday. Let me think in the comments what you think about this. Were you also able to capitalize on these moves? Um, I would love to hear your comments. And yeah, I hope that you still want to see this project in the future. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and also hit the um, hit the thumbs up button if you appreciate the honesty on the channel. So thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye-bye.